Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan and I teach IELTS here in Lahore and I also teach IELTS online. Once again, I welcome you to the second video of general training reading and as I told you, those who are having problem with academic reading, they can also watch this video. Now, we go ahead and the type of questions which we are going to do that is for which app are the following statements true? Now they have given some statements and then there are the paragraphs in the passage and each paragraph contains information about one app. So you got to match those paragraphs with the questions over here. This is the type of questions in general training reading section 1 questions 8 to 14. Now let's go to the book. Let's go to the question booklet and there we solve this test and I'll tell you how to do that. What should be the method of doing it? Let's take a start. Okay guys, now let's go on. Uh, we've got look at the four reviews of smartphone fitness apps A to D. Right, Th those are the passage uh, paragraphs on page 39. So these are basically four reviews. You can see A, B, C, D. We got four reviews. For which app are the following statements true? Now these are the statements. So for which app are the following statements true? And those apps are A, B, C, D. Write the correct letter A to D in boxes 8 to 14 on your answer sheet. Now here you don't need to read this first. You have to read the paragraph first. So the first one is Pacer. Although now I'm going to read it and in general training because the text is not too lengthy you can read that. Although they were previously split into pro and free. Previously split into pro, pro and free versions. Pacer's development now generously includes all the features in one free app. All the features in one free app now they have right. Before that they had pro and free but now all the features in one free app. That means you can spend no money, okay, you don't need to spend any money. Yet use your smartphone's GPS capabilities to track your jogging routes and examine details of your pace and calories burned. Now you got to keep all these things which you underlined in mind. And now we go back and see number 8. This app can be used for more than one sport. No, they didn't mention anything. Now here, but, but when you read the first time, you got to underline more than one sport. You have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go. Now you have to pay, but the app we are talking about that is free. But you need to underline that as you read. This app has well presented visuals, well presented visuals. Now next time I will only take a look at the words I'm underlining. Next. You do not have to pay. <coughs> Next, you do not have to pay. Do not have to pay means free for any of the features on this app. Now they said everything is free. Now I tell you why. It's written here. All the features in one app, uh, in one free app. All the features in one free app. Previously they had pro and free version but now all the features in one free app. And in 11 they say you do not have to pay for any of the features in this app. So the answer is going to be A. For 11 it's A. 12. You can pay to download true stories. No, they didn't talk about stories but we can underline that. You can get ideas about where to go from other people. Ideas about where to go from other people. Okay, we need to keep this in mind. This app gives you details of the energy you have used. For energy you have used, they are talking about this. They say uh, GPS capabilities to track your jogging routes and examine details. Examine details of your pace and calories burned. Now for calories burned, they are using this word. This app gives you details. For gives you details, yeah, examine details. Or this app gives you details of the energy you have used. So A is going to be the right answer. Now when I read these, uh, uh, I mean again, I will not read number 14 and I will not read number 11. Now I will search other options. Okay, now let's go on. 
Now we have questions in mind by the way. One, two, three, four, five. Got questions in mind and we go on and see if there is anything. I've got to read it quickly. There are a wealth of running apps available but B2 is a good one. This free app, this is also free app. Monitors your pace or if you have a wrist or chest based heart rate monitor your beats per minute and offers up its specially curated playlist uh, to give you the perfect music for the pace you are running at. So we've got here, okay, a whole new dimensions to your run. The best bit is when you explode into a sprint and the music pounds in your ears, okay, they've got the music as well. Or if you fancy something different, the app also has in-app purchase including tales of past tales oh my god oh i know that there was something about stories now tales and stories they are the same thing tales of past sporting heroes you can listen to while you run now what is that or if you fancy something different the app also has in-app purchase uh, purchases including tales of the past now let's see yes it's number 12 you can pay you can pay. For pay, they are using the word app purchases, in-app purchases. Uh, you can pay to download true stories. Now, true stories and there they are using the word including tales of past sporting heroes. So, for question number 12, we've got option B. Right? So, this is also taken. Now, we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4 options and you got to keep this in mind. More than one sport, okay, have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go and then you can get ideas about where to go from. Let's go on. Next app is Impel. If you're serious about the sport you do, then you should be serious about Impel. Now, this first line doesn't say anything and you got to read things like that very quickly. As smartphone fitness tool go, it's uh, one of the best, allowing you to track your performance, okay. It allows you to track your performance, set goals and see daily progress. You can set goals, see daily progress, updates. If you're even not sure where to run or cycle. Now remember, run or cycle, these are actually two sports. One is running, one is cycling. You can find user created routes on the app. I read something about that. Or share your own. All of that comes free of charge. So premium version adds even more tools. Now let's see. Premium version has more tools and all that. We got to see which one is the right option. Number eight. This app can be used for more than one sport. Why not? More than one sport. I already underlined. And what is that? Run or cycle. So actually for number eight, we are going to select C. This is also taken. Now we are left with three, uh, two or more. You have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go no they didn't talk about that this app has well presented visuals no you can get ideas about where to go from other people on this app from other people on this app why not see here you can find user created routes now user created routes actually means the routes which are created by users and those users are other people on the app or share your own you can share your own and user created routes mean other people created that. So what is the option? You can get ideas about where to go. Now for where to go, they have used the word routes. Where to go? Routes from other people. For other people, they have used user created. See that this is what you guys need to understand. User created routes and ideas about where to go from other people on this app for number 13. We've got the answer C. 13 is also taken. Now blindly with closed eyes, <laughs> you can write D with number 9 and 10 if this is done very well. This is another way of saving time. I mean if you are confident, 100% confident about other options, then 9 and 10 definitely they are going to be D option. Okay. But we have to check. So let's go back and we got to keep in mind. You have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go. And this app has well presented visuals. Okay. There are plenty of GPS running apps for smartphones. But Fast Track is an excellent free B. I think we call it free B or free buy. I don't know. 
although you naturally get more features if you pay for the pro version now you naturally get more features if you pay for the pro version what do they say here you have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go let's see where you can go pro version the free release gets you gps tracking right gps tracking so this gps tracking means actually where you can go you have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go and for this the sentence is although you naturally get more features if you pay for the pro version the free release gets you gps tracking right okay now after that they say a nicely designed map view nicely designed now they are talking about design which is relevant with visuals a nicely designed map view so for number 9 you have to pay we will write d and this ha app has a well presented visuals well presented and nicely designed nicely designed map for visuals they have used the word map nicely designed map and well presented visuals they are the synonyms so for number 10 for number 10 we are going to write option d as well and this is also taken right well presented visuals welcome back okay see that so now at, at least this type of questions will not be a problem for you if you like this video hit the like button and you must subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload any new video you should be the first one to watch or to comment that video i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes you can subscribe you can uh, contact my whatsapp number for that and i also run a facebook page asad yakub ielts you must subscribe to that page as well there i'll share more wisdom more insights about ielts with you asad yakub wishes you all the best take care allah hafiz